Hi, my name is Doug with ATWIT Engineering, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do an extremely tight square lashing using paracord. Uh, so a square lashing is a popular way to lash uh, two, uh, two pieces of whatever um, perpendicular to each other. I happen to be lashing a bracket for a bed fence out of, made out of bamboo that I'm uh, making for my, my kid's bunk bed. Uh, here's a picture of it, uh, totally completed uh, if for your, just at, out of interest. So this is the bracket. Um, most square lashings are started with what's called a clove hitch. And uh, there's a picture of a clove hitch real quick, and there's a link in the description for how to tie it. I personally, over years, have uh, settled on a knot called a constrictor knot. Uh, so I made another video about how you can uh, not only tie this knot, but make it extremely tight. Um, called with a technique I call impact tightening, which I'm kind of doing with my hands right there. Uh, but uh, I, it, it, it doesn't get too tight here, and it doesn't need to be too tight. It's kind of, This is the anchor for the square lashing. So again, usually you start with a clove hitch. I start with a constrictor knot, um, just a personal preference. It's more secure. So here I'm starting with the square, with the lashing. Uh, I do four wraps around my lashings uh, in general with paracord for this kind of the size of uh, I don't know, stuff that I'm tying together. Um, you can see I'm I'm making it tight, but uh, it, as you'll see, you don't have to worry too much about making it like s super tight as possible. Just make it as tight as you reasonably can as you're making these four wraps. So you can see that um, I've made two so far. And uh, let me speed it up a bit here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm done with the wraps. Now I'm taking the end. Uh, of the constrictor knot, the loose, the loose bite, and um, I am threading it around. And what I'm doing here is called a frapping turn. So frapping is an old nautical term to mean to lash or tie something down very tightly. Um, when it comes to uh, tying a, a lashing, uh, a, a lashing system like this, it uh, it refers to how you you tighten down the wraps that you just made even further so it's kind of like a leverage situation here so i tied the wraps as tight as i i could reasonably with my hand strength and now this frapping turn is going to make it even tighter now classically speaking you just make the frap the frapping turn again by hand using your hand strength which does provide leverage and does tighten it down uh, quite well uh, this is a technique I've invented myself that that gets it even way ridiculously tighter. So what I'm doing here is tying an over-under knot around a wooden dowel. This is a 3 8 inch oak dowel. And uh, tying a simple over-under, uh, then another over-under. You can call it a granny It's called a granny knot also. Um, I'm tying it around this wooden dowel, and then, yeah, Tiger's checking out my handiwork, uh, tying it around the wooden dowel and melting the end. So this is, uh, I forgot to mention, this is 550 pound test paracord. There's a link in the description for the paracord I use. Make sure you buy from a reputable source. So anyway, I'm, uh, I'm burning the ends here because this is a simple over under knot and it's easy. Paracord is slippery and it's easy for this knot to untie itself if you don't burn the ends into little plastic beads that are kind of like little stoppers from 
uh, keeping the knot, the simple over-under knot from unraveling under what is going to be some intense tension and pressure very soon. So here I'm still burning the ends. This takes a second here. Yeah, I'm just letting it cool off a bit now. Okay, so here is where I take the dowel. And yeah, come on. Here is where I take the dowel <laughs> and start turning it. I have to speed up again. Yeah, I'm just finding a good. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, I am. I start spinning the dowel. So again, this is all one length of paracord. This frapping turn was made with the loose bite of the initial constrictor knot anchor, and the uh, the other part of this granny knot on top. <clears throat> was the the running bite I was using for the lashing so um, you can see I'm just doing a test here I just want to make sure that the bracket is in the right position before I really lock things down um, yeah the bed fence is not complete here yet approaching completion um, yeah so making sure it's in the right position that's all double checking some things measure twice that kind of thing Measure twice, measure twice, tie once. All right, so I have, I've, tw I've turned the dowel a few times, and it's starting to get so tight that you need to whip out a little hammer, and um, <clears throat> yeah, see what I'm doing there. I'm hammering this dowel through so I can make another half turn. Pretty clever, huh? Uh, make sure you, you're using an oak dowel, especially towards the end here. If you're using an inferior, crappy, soft wood, um, even if it says hardwood, kind of make sure you're using uh, solid oak with a lot of winter growth. So you want to make sure it's not too porous as well. Anyway, uh, making a few more half turns here. It's getting tighter and tighter. It's getting harder and harder to hammer that dowel through. And... Um, you see now why, hopefully why, I had to burn the ends of that granny knot on top. Um, otherwise, the, the, the two bites there would have slipped through the granny knot and come out. So the, the little plastic beads there um, are uh, keeping that from happening. So. Yep, a few more hammerings here. I forget how many times I twist it, but uh, you just want to go until, I don't know, it's reasonably tight, until it just becomes a pain to hammer this thing through. Oh, maybe I decided that's the point. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here I am just taking a little hacksaw here, sawing off the dowel, and you leave it there. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's about it. Uh, lashings are pretty cool. This what I just showed is a a whole knot system. So each knot is kind of like an individual note, making a little little riff. Let's say not exactly a symphony, but oh, that's my bed fence is a symphony, which I'll show in another video. Uh, but this is a little little riff, a uh, little system I've come up with that uh, has proven very useful over the years for. Uh, various projects. So I hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.